Well, the United Arab Emirates imports up to 99% of its agricultural products. This means there is negligible farming going on as the oil-rich region is a desert. But despite this phenomenon, a Kenyan family has set up hydroponic farming systems and is currently supplying major retailers and eyeing multinationals. So how did they do it? Katie's brand, George Otieno, visited their farm in Dubai and filed this report. Today's youth holds agriculture in low regard compared to other careers, but not the Shah family. They practice it right here in the middle of a desert, Dubai, UAE. However, they do it in a highly mechanized context, technically known as hydroponics. Hydroponics is a type of horticulture and a subset of hydroculture, which involves growing crops without soil by using mineral nutrient solutions in an aqueous environment. The family started this practice in 2016 after selling their initial generational company, Menengai Group, to Rai Ply in 2011. Menengai manufactures soap, cooking oil, and fat. After the sale, the family moved to Dubai in 2013 and set up Armel Farms. Kenyan land is very arable, so why did they choose to settle and practice agriculture in a desert? When we moved here to Dubai, we actually saw a market gap. And it's better for us <clears throat> to produce locally. It's better for us to produce locally. Uh, it's more fresher. It goes straight from the farm, straight to uh, the retail, to the end consumer in less than 24 hours. Okay. Uh, carbon footprint is uh, almost zero. Uh, at the new facility, it will be negative because we are pumping CO2. And uh, that's the reason why we moved here. A view disclosed that making it in this market wasn't easy as they spent almost two years finding their bearing. Finally, they steered steady, maintaining a daily output of 700 to 900 kilograms of lettuce supplied in local UAE retailers like CAFO. Other products in their offering are kills, mini paper, baby plants and value-added products like fresh vegetable juices. We don't have mechanical cooling. Okay. It's fan and pad system, so it does not use that much power okay. as compared to our expansion, okay. which will be using about uh, 5.2 mega uh, watts of electricity. Okay. Uh, but the water consumption is very high here for uh, the cooling pads. Okay. Uh, so 75% goes towards cooling uh, the cooling pads and 25% goes towards irrigation, which, which we recycle. Okay. The farm currently employs 43 staff permanently. Part of their grand plan is to have an 100 million dirham investment, which loosely translates to 3 billion Kenya shillings in an expansion plan to Sharjah. They say because of the mechanization and the high agri-tech involved, they will need only six employees at the new facility, as a majority of their work will be automated. Now that is hydroponics for you. But some of the produce sold in this market is outsourced from partnerships with smallholder farmers in Kenya and other large-scale suppliers like VegPro. Kenya Export Promotion and Branding Agency Board Chairperson Jaswinda Betty says this spells huge opportunity for Kenyan farmers as the region relies heavily on agricultural imports. All it takes is consistency. To me, it's a Kenyan export basket. Kenyan export basket meaning that when we have farmer groups coming to us and saying, we want to export to the UAE or to the Gulf region. So we want credible partners where we can sell to, because in the past we've seen people who have actually hurt Kenyan exporters in the sense that farmers have been hurt, they've not been paid on time or whatever it is. So we're doing the matchmaking here. The matchmaking meaning a Kenyan farmer comes to us and says, guys, I want to export to Dubai. I don't know who to sell to. So we've actually managed to create synergy with this company here in Dubai. They're, of course, growing their own uh, fresh uh, lettuce and everything else. But they've just expanded their product offering by engaging with the Kenya Export Promotion and Branding Agency. Now, you'd be forgiven to think that this is a farm somewhere in Naivasha or Nakuru because all this is happening deep inside a desert. And the most important thing is that the Armella farms are now opening up the export opportunities for more Kenyan farmers who want to export in the UAE market because 99% of foodstuff consumed here is imported. From Dubai, UAE, I'm Brian Giorgiotieno, KTN News. Quite, uh, in, in, uh, I would say, mind-blowing to just see what you can do with technology, especially when it comes to farming. 
Well, speaking about technology, uh, we want to transition into another interesting area of focus, like I did mention, that we want to take a quick look at matters to do with the road safety.